What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be walking you through shortcuts once again, but this time I'm gonna be teaching you about more advanced techniques in the application and how to build shortcuts that are a little bit more complex than I showed in my original video. Now, if you didn't see my first video on Siri shortcuts, make sure to go back and watch that before moving on to this video. I go through all of the basics in that video and we're not gonna be going through the beginner basics in this video, so make sure you watch that so you're not lost. And of course you can find that video up in the cards and also down in the description below. And just to let you know, there will also be at least one more video on advanced shortcuts after this one so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it when it does get uploaded and if I get a great response from this video and possibly the next video I may just continue and make a full series on series shortcuts so let me know if that's something you're interested in as well let me know down in a comment below all right so let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and get started let's build something useful all right so let's go ahead and open up the shortcuts application and today we're going to be building two very useful shortcuts and explaining how everything works together and the two shortcuts are going to be a discount calculator which you can see right there which is extremely useful and the other one is going to be this Wi-Fi via QR code so I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to build each one of these step by step and explaining the process behind it now of course these two shortcuts are very useful but what's more useful is going through the process so you understand it all so you understand how Siri shortcuts works all right, so we're just gonna go ahead and delete these so you can see me build them from scratch let's go all the way down and click on create shortcut and I actually got like five different requests to make a discount calculator shortcut so that's the whole reason I'm making this I got a lot of requests on it so if you work at a retail store like one of the people who actually requested me cover this or if you're just going to be shopping for the holidays coming up and you want to know how much you're going to be saving this is a great shortcut for you and this shortcut is going to allow you to calculate the amount saved and give you the new pre-tax total with only a couple of taps on your phone and by the way if you do want tax added into this shortcut let me know down in a comment below and I may add a link to that in the description below all right so now let's go ahead and build the discount calculator all right so first things first we're going to have to ask for an input we're going to ask what is the original price and by the way I highly suggest having ask for input as a favorite because this is something you're going to be using in a ton of shortcuts in the future so ask for input and this of course is going to be this prompt right here so you can type in whatever you want and that's going to take us to the next step so we're going to have the question say what's the price and then we want the input type to be a number and so once we press play you'll see that the pop-up pops up what's the price and then we put in our number right there so 25.99 okay of course, there's nothing else in this step, but that's just what it looks like, you know, with the first step here. All right, so now that we have asked for the price, now we need to ask for the discount. So let's go back to our favorites, ask for input. What's the discount? And of course the input type is also gonna be a number for the discount because it is going to be a percentage. All right, so now we have two input pop-ups. What's the price and what's the discount? And what we need to do now is make the discount a variable so we can call on it later. Get variable is something else you should add to your favorites. So if you just click on the I in favorite, that's something you will also be using a lot. Now, if we just go back over here, favorites, get variable. And now we're going to choose our variable. Let's do select magic variable. We're gonna click right here for the input from the discount for now. So you can see the name of that variable is ask for input. If we click on that, click rename. Let's change this to discount discount there we go click done and now we want to calculate so go and click on calculate right there and since we're trying to take off a percentage we're going to divide by 100 and let's add another calculate because we do need to multiply by the original price now and this is just how you would do it if you had a calculator in front of you you divide by 100 and then multiply by the original price but in this case the original price is going to vary from user to user so what we're going to do is click on this little wand right here we're going to go all the way up to the top for the original price click on that and now what we're telling shortcuts to do is to take the discount, which we added the variable there. We're telling it to divide the discount by 100 and then multiply that by the original price. And once again, we do want to change the name of this just so we can keep everything clean and we know what everything is. So we're just going to rename this to OG price. So there you go. That's a lot easier to understand when you're just looking at it. And now just to make things easier, because I am OCD, I would like to format the number. And we're just going to do two decimal places. That way you don't have a result that's like nine decimal places over and just, you know, it's hard to read and looks bad. All right, so now that we have that, I hope you are following along. We're going to go ahead and get another variable. This time we're going to actually choose the original price. So let's do select magic variable. Let's go all the way up to the top to the original price. Go ahead and click on that. And now we're going to subtract the original price minus the discount. So we're going to make sure to select minus on the operation and the operand should be the discount. So if you go over here, you should see the magic wand right there. And we're going to click on the final calculation result, which should be right here after it gets formatted so click on that and once again we want to rename that discount and once again we're going to format the number to two decimal places and so just to recap what we did here is we took the original price and we subtracted the final result of the discount which was going through all this dividing by 100 and then multiplying by the original price and then formatting it to two decimal places we were subtracting the discount from the original price here so if we go ahead and run this you can see so what's the price so we'll just say ten dollars 
Then it's going to ask, what's the discount? So let's say it's 10%. Okay. And you can see it shows $9 here as the result. And that result there is going to be the total after taking 10% off of $10. Obviously 10% of 10 is one, one minus 10 is nine. So that's all good, but we don't actually have a pop-up that shows us that. So now what we wanna do is create an alert. So if you search for alert, you should see show alert. And let's make the title, let's just say we wanna see how much we saved. So let's just say you saved, let's put the dollar sign and then let's select a variable. So let's go to variables right here and we're going to select discount. And then in the actual alert body, we'll say you'll save, let's click variables, discount, and the total will be, and I forget what it is. So we're just gonna select this and we're gonna go all the way down to here to the final formatted number right here. That's what we wanna select because that's gonna give us our final price right there. Let's put an exclamation point. Now let's run this to make sure it works. $10, 10% off. You'll save $1, you'll save $1 and the new total will be $9. So yes, it does work, but we don't need cancel and okay. So let's just go ahead and remove cancel. And now let's try this with a more complex number. So let's say the, the total is, or the original price is 162.85 and the discount is 39%, okay? So you can see it says you'll save 63.51 and the new total will be 99.34. Now, if we didn't have the format number, these decimals would be going crazy and it would look super ugly. So yeah, that is how you build a discount calculator. Super, super useful. I use this actually all the time since I built it. It's really handy to use from the widgets panel. You can just go on your lock screen and do it from over there. If you're on your home screen, swipe over and you can see it on the widgets panel. Of course, you can just ask Siri or just go into the shortcuts app and click it if you want, but I just find it to be very quick from the widgets panel. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, I tried to go as slow as possible and try to you know explain every part as much as possible but i'm sure there's still people out there with questions so if you have any questions at all let me know down in a comment below so now let's move on to the next shortcut which is wi-fi via qr code so let's go to create shortcut. And what I like about teaching you guys this next shortcut is because we're gonna be using a feature we haven't used yet, which is getting device details. So if we go into the scripting section, you can see we get a lot of interesting things to do here. But the thing we're gonna do first is get network details. So let's click on that. And we're gonna make sure it's Wi-Fi network name. And then we need to set this as a variable, of course, so we can call on it later. So let's go to favorites, get variable. And we are going to choose the variable as network details. Once again, let's rename that. We'll just call that SSID. So all we've done so far is got the network details of our phone, the Wi-Fi that we're connected to currently, and we set that as a variable as SSID so we can call on it later. Now we're gonna add in some text, and this is where you're gonna enter the passcode for your Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna leave this blank for now, but I will put it in right before I run the shortcut so you can see that it works. And then of course, we want to set that as a variable as well. We're gonna choose the variable as the text right there. Once again, let's rename that to password since that is the password of our Wi-Fi network. Now we're going to add another text and this one is tricky. So we're gonna type in in all caps, Wi-Fi colon S colon, and then we're going to do SSID, add a semicolon there, no spaces. Then we're gonna do T colon WPA, which is a type of network. We're gonna do semicolon P colon, oops, and then password. And then we're gonna add two semicolons at the very end. Now, of course, I don't expect you guys to know this, but this is how the actual iPhone reads the SSID and your password. And now we want to generate a QR code. So let's go and click on that. The error correction doesn't really matter. And if we run this, you can see that it gives us a QR code, but of course we don't have our passcode put in. And if you were to run this, that's a pretty small QR code and you wouldn't really get that result from the widget screen. So we're gonna have to add a quick look. Go ahead and search for a quick look right there. And this is just gonna show us a quick look of the image. That way it doesn't actually have to save it to your camera roll and it doesn't actually have to pop up inside of the shortcuts app and just be really small and ugly like that. So now if we run it with quick look, let's see how much better it looks. Let's go and click play. You can see it gives us a full screen image right there without saving anything or anything like that. Makes a lot easier to scan. All right, so now I'm gonna put in my passcode for my Wi-Fi network, then we're going to test this. So now we have the QR code right there and you can see my iPhone 7 Plus right here. I can't connect to the network without a passcode, but we're gonna go to our camera. We're going to scan that. You'll see we get an alert to join the network. Go ahead and click on that, join. Let's go back to the settings so you can see it does actually connect to it very quickly. 
And there you go, we are connected without ever having to touch the passcode settings inside of Wi-Fi. So that is super useful if you have people coming over to your house for the first time and they ask for the Wi-Fi password and it's you know something very long, you can just have them scan the QR code and it will connect them automatically. So super, super useful stuff. And you guys also learned a little bit about getting device details by creating the shortcut. And of course, when you go back to your library, you do want to name these and customize them as well. So for the discount calculator, if you go into it, click these little dots, let's name it discount calculator done you can add you can add a voice to siri you want to make sure it shows in widget you can select a new icon with a different glyph if you want we're just going to choose that and we'll do like an orangish color that looks good there we go if it's something you're going to use a lot you can go ahead and move it up to the top i know i'm going to use this a lot so i'm going to move it up to the top notification was in the way there there we go done and you can do that for all of them so anyways guys there you have it that is a little bit more of an advanced tutorial using siri shortcuts here in ios 12. i hope this helped you out if it did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave any kind of comments any questions concerns anything down in the comment section below and i will try to help you out and also if you guys do want more videos on siri shortcuts let me know i do plan on making them but i do want to see that people want them as well so let me know down in the comments section also over on Twitter if you are following me over there. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.